Hey everyone, welcome back to another video, and today I am on a world that I have been playing on with my older brother. Uh, we've been playing on this world a lot, and I made some really cool farms on it. We've made a lot of farms together, and I'm just going to be showing one of them today and how to make it. So today's farm is on the Rod of Discord, and much, much other accessories, but it's mainly focused on the Rod of Discord and Blessed Apples. So here is the farm, here it is. So we have our very well-sorted sor storage system. As you can see, it's not a chest mess whatsoever. It is 100% sorted. Short and here are rods of Discord. As you can see, it's actually really hard to get them. Due to the, the, pe the guys that actually like drop them are really rare. As you can see, there's not even any on screen right now. So before I show how to make the farm, I'm just going to be showing how much I've been getting from it. That is such an annoying sound. Uh, that, that is annoying. I'm turning that off. Okay, I turned that off just for now, and then I'll turn it back on. So the loot that we've gotten, as you can see, we've gotten all these rod discords. I have one, and also my older brother has one. So we all have rods of discord. And for the loot, there's a lot of different things that you can get, like metal detectors, armor polish, pocket mirrors, magic quivers, lots of other accessories. Here's the other accessories you can get from this farm. One thing I'd like to know about this farm is we made it right on a marble biome, so we actually get the marble, like, guys from the marble biome. So we get uh, the guys that dropped this and we also get uh, the javelins, which this was completely coincidental. We did not mean to do this, but it just ended up happening and it, it kind of just means more loot though. Okay, so showing off how many blessed apples we've gotten from this farm in a couple days. Yeah, we got some and there goes my internet. Yep, so you can see we have a lot of blessed apples and then lots of javelins, some, a lot of these like different types of bows Lots of Maros. You always, I just keep on getting those. I'm just gonna quickly run to the chest. We got lots of these. Lots of lots of souls. So this is a really good soul of light farm. It's I would call it a soul of light farm and a rod of discord farm is what it really is. Then you know we got all of this other stuff. Lots of beam swords. And you can see lots and lots of beam swords. We haven't sold anything because I want to show how much we actually ended up getting. But as you can see it's a lot. And we've gotten lots of armor. The armor's trash. I don't know why we're keeping it. Just, you can see, it. it's lots of armor. And also, this is the most interesting. We got, interesting thing. We got 11 hollowed keys from this so far. So, if you don't know, these are our 1 in 2.5 thousand chance. So, those are extremely rare. And those are only from the uh, mobs in the Luminate. So, they're not, they can't be dropped by Hoptite. They can't be dropped by Skeleton uh, Archers. Also, we got some slime, I mean gel, whatever it is. We got enough gel for the rest of our life. And I think we have enough red husks for the rest of our life as well. Now you've seen how much this farm can produce, I'm just going to be showing how to make it. I'm going to be summoning my dragon, and I'm just going to go and start showing. First, you want to dig out a 2x... Uh, a uh, uh, what's that? 27 hole. Just dig it right down here. It only has to be two blocks wide, the, as long as but the human is. Uh, just so that we c you can get a nice little layout on the side. Then the across area of it is... You want to make a way that's 57 blocks from right here. It's 57 blocks. And then once you reach 57 blocks, you're going to want to make a staircase like this. And the staircase wants to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 blocks. Once you go up the seven blocks, you're gonna wanna go over 22 blocks. And after that is the same thing on the other side. And it is the complete same thing. This, don't worry about that. Just, that was something from a previous design. But as you can see, this one is well, 56. It's off-centered, but make it 57, okay? I off-centered it. So there's your measurements. So you got this big room now. There's nothing in it, but a nice little staircase right here with a kind of area. Make sure you make like a little area inside like this. Here, I'll show you how high it is. So this little room right here is five blocks tall. So make a room five blocks tall and you want to have it too thick right there. And also put this little thing right here. This is very, very important. So just right in the center where you have a three, uh, three by uh, this three block pit, put this right in the center of it. Next, dig this little pit. It needs to go down about 12 blocks. You can see it's about 12 blocks. I would go a little bit deeper. Ours isn't super deep. And then line it with uh, spiky traps facing inward so that the spiky balls uh it's almost like shredder it's actually kind of cool it like shreds them into pieces it's kind of fun next you want to make a little safety box and the safety box uh needs to be at least four blocks tall so you can fit the slime in here hold up let me get my slimy out 
And you want to always have a slime mat style. So you just want to sit here just like this. This is how you want to idle. And then have blocks right around it. And also, whenever you're on the slime, you get all of the drops, which is a flaw with my old design, uh, is that you can't actually pick up the drops. With this one, you can pick up every single drop. And all this storage around here in this bottom area, this was all just other stuff we did. Do not even mind about this or this quite yet. I'm going to get onto that. All this extra area we dug out is not necessary unless you want a nice big storage system. Next, you're going to want to stick a teleporter right in the center. And you're going to want to link this teleporter with... Make sure of this. This is very important. Red pressure pressure plates. I realize that red pressure plates are the only ones that allow mobs to step on it and get teleported. So make sure it is red. So go ahead, put one in the center and link it to a teleporter in the room. So you can see yellow wire goes to the yellow to a teleporter. So that's pretty simple wiring right there. Nothing too complex so far. Now uh, you want to put one on the side right here to catch some of these bats is really the reason I have so many teleporters. And then you want to link this one to another one on the inside. Next, these are the most important ones, is to put two down on the sides right here. And you're just going to want to link these in as well. And now, as you can see, it's off-centered. I have one here and none here. That's the reason that it just looked better with two like this. So I didn't change it. It's fine. I would recommend putting one right here and having another teleporter, but it just seemed like too many teleporters to me. So now your farm is really well almost done already. Also, to mention, uh, I forgot to say this. I mean, this is common sense, but you better put it inside of a crystal biome. That's 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 common sense. Uh, and make sure it's in the caverns. I, I just thought that was common sense. Uh, it's, it's, it is common sense. Okay, next of all, you want to make... So, this is for mimic protection. And, you know, mimics can go through walls. So, if a mimic spawns up there, it can actually come through the walls and kill me. Which is one reason for the slime. Uh, it will get stuck underneath the slime and constantly get hurt. So that can really help. It gets stuck under the slime. To help with mim mimic protection, this is not necessary, but it really does help, is to put little spiky balls in rooms like this. And the reason I have four different sections is that if I had spiky balls uh, right here, only right here, the spiky balls would all fall down to here. And that's not good because you want it to cover the entire area. So yeah, just go ahead and line it like this with spiky traps. Okay, now it's time for everybody's favorite part, the wiring stuff. You want to make this right here. So look at this. So how it works is this is a timing thing. So it perfectly times it so that it, the, like the traps, it evens out the damage, basically is what it does. And evening out the damage can help it uh, them get killed way, way quicker. And then how to activate it is you, you want to put one platform here, a uh, one second timer, linked together with a wire. I chose blue and green for my two wires, as you can see here. And then you just wanna put one, two, three, four, five below it, like this. You'll fall down like this. And that's how it works. You don't wanna move at all to activate it. Next, you wanna make a conveyor belt, which I'm pretty sure this is not, it's 13 block, uh, 14 blocks. So 14 across here. And then you want it to go up like this, like three blocks upwards is what you want to do. And no wiring there, just conveyor belts. And then you'll drop right down onto this. So now your timing system's done. Now you want to do the wiring so things work. I'm just going to quickly cut away some of this excessive wiring so it doesn't look too crazy. Okay, hopefully I made the wiring look a little bit less crazy. So here is the wiring. Um, things to keep in note is this re uh, yellow wire right here. This is actually for the teleporter uh, that brings us in here. So don't worry about this one yellow wire running through here. So now you want to take a green wire or any wire and hook it up to here and then have it come over to your farm. And also you're going to want the blue wire coming over to your farm. So how you're going to want to link up the traps is in a pattern. As you can see, it's a little messy, I have to be honest. It's, it's messy, but just look. This, it's in a pattern. So it's blue, green, blue, green, blue, green, blue, green. And that's how the traps are all laid out. Each of them are blue, green, blue, green. And then you can see these teal wires. That's actually a combination of the two wires. So whenever you combine two wires together, it makes a different color of wire. So let's take over here, for example, since it's less of a mess. As you can see, we took a double wire and we took a blue wire and a, a green wire and we made a double wire, which is about a teal wire. Teal wire. Then you're going to want to alternate all through these traps, just like that. And do the same on the bottom, so it's alternated. And then you want to do the exact same on these traps. You just alternate it. You put the double wire through the center, just like that, and then you alternate it. All these wires are kind of a mess because what you want to do is you want to connect 
all of these wires to these over here. And that's basically what's going on here. And it's the same over here. It's alternating. It's just a little bit messy. It will get messy. Just kind of look at the blue and the other wires. That should make it easier to understand. As you can see, here are like the blue wires and the green wires. That's a little bit easier. I got rid of all the other wires, so they're very hard to see. So just alternating it through every single one of these. It's pretty common sense. It doesn't take too, it's not too hard to do it. Okay, now on with the rest of the wiring. So now we are going off of the other wiring and we're gonna be talking about all the other wiring. First, let's start with the red wires. What the red wires do in this scenario is you have the teleport ones, but mainly is that they're all connected to this wire right here. And what this does is opens up this little passage. So if you don't have a route discord and you can warp in, before you get the Reddit Discord, you can just walk in and then close it up. Which, yeah, you're gonna have to be walking through spiky balls. I dealed with that. I d had to deal with that. So yeah, so you wanna just, basically, it's really simple. You take a red wire, you put it here, you go down here, and you put some of these little connect. Oh, uh, so you just wanna put these wires. It's pretty normal. You use activate, uh, they're activators. And you just put them on these three blocks right here so you can walk through. And you just connect the red wire up to each and every one, and you connect it up here. And for the last one is the yellow wires. We have the teleporter wire. What Mainly what I haven't showed is this right here. So these wires are how you turn off the machine. You can either turn off the machine by going through this again to turn it off, or you can flip these wires to turn it off. And you may say, can't I just turn it on with these wires? Because look, you can't actually turn it on with these. The thing is the timing is gonna be all off and it's gonna be all messed up. And that is the reason why you do not wanna do that. Also another thing to keep in mind, you don't wanna have any uh, like helpers out you don't want to have any minions because then all the loot gets stuck up here just uh, keep that in mind and all you need to do this is just take some yellow wires and first one you bring it up here make sure you don't touch the pressure plate just take it up over and then put it right onto the one second timer same with the other one i used uh, a little uh conjunction right there to bring it underneath the other wire and then link it up so it w it's very simple, okay? The other farm, there were wires everywhere. It was an absolute mess, okay? This was way different than how the other design used to be. I was like, oh gosh, this is gonna be so hard to show. This one was much easier to show. Hopefully you understand. Any questions about the farm that you don't understand, just comment down below. I'm usually looking at my comments all the time because I barely get any, so I can definitely respond to you. That's it for this video. That is how you make a rod of discord farm, a, like an everything farm. You get so much loot from this farm. And you can see we have a lots of different types of, of loot from this farm. That's it for this short video. This is probably a really short video. I've just been working on this farm for a long time. It's a really good farm. And yeah. And also you may see this over here. I forgot to mention this. So this is, it's not necessary, but I would recommend doing this actually. I completely forgot about this. So see these little platforms over here? You can see them. They're just barely off. They're not off screen, but they're just barely on screen. You can kind of see it over there. This is not necessary, but I think it improves the spawn rate a tiny bit. Due to, it just gives the mobs more places to spawn. This is what I normally do with my farms. Just, it's not super important. But yes, if you have, I would put this. You just basically want to make these little rows with three blocks on each of them. And you want to put it just like a little bit on screen like that. Okay, well that's really it for this video. I have showed you how to make a rod discord farm, and as you see, it's very efficient. There is mobs everywhere. And this teleport system is really smart, uh, just because it collects all the loot and the loot never despawns with this system, unless your inventory is full like mine always is. That's it for this video slash tutorial thing, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.